Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. Look, you guys know that I like to bring you late breaking stories. This is gonna be pushed out tonight. This just happened today. Um, we have another default in China, so please do me a favor. If you guys are new to this channel or you like this content, hit the subscribe button. If you guys could do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, get this information out, share the video out because this is getting worse, what's going on in China. I'm gonna explain how it's getting worse and something pretty huge at Goldman Sachs has found. So here we go. And I'm gonna need some notes. So this is a big story. Big story means big notes. Right. All right. It's a pretty tall box. All right. All right, here we go. Okay, so we currently right now have a new default going on in the China real estate sector. It's a little high up here. It's called Modern Land China. This company is based out of Beijing. They are a real estate developer and they, uh, let's see, wait, they develop energy efficient properties. Now, right now, the current default that was set, that started, what, a day ago, they were supposed to pay on a $250 million loan. They have now not only missed the interest payment, but they have not made the principal payment, okay? Now, this story in its own, oh, we're getting down to the bottom, isn't the whole story. The bigger part is this. Goldman Sachs has currently, or is out there right now, uncovering that there is approximately eight trillion dollars worth of debt that the Chinese government has right now. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. And I'm gonna be putting links to these stories below, guys, okay? We have currently offshore bond defaults for China. Now, the, in, I'm gonna give out some numbers right now to give you an idea of how big this is getting. And just so you guys know, before, I'm not ripping on China. The whole world's in this situation. I mean, I wanna be very frank about that. It's not just China, it's America, America, uh, India, Turkey, Venezuela. Uh, yeah, there's, they're all here. They're all listed right here on my notes, I promise. All right, 2018, offshore bond defaults. You guys, remember I talked about this before. Uh, it's the offshore bond defaults that are really important, right? Why? Because those are owed to countries like us. All right, they're in your pension plans, all right? This is the stuff I've been talking about. In 2018, there was approximately $3.3 billion worth of offshore bonds that were defaulted on. In 2019, the number was 3.8 billion, an increase of over 10%, right? In 2020, that number almost tripled to 8.27. It's getting even worse. From $8.27 billion worth of defaults, offshore defaults, we're now in 2021, and guys, the number, we're not even done with the year yet. We're at $8.7 billion. There's a lot of notes here. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's get this out of the way, and I'm gonna close. I told you, big story, big notes. Here's the deal. It's like that <laughs> Ginsu commercial, but wait, there's more. The fact of the matter is, things are not getting better, okay? We, as one developer, Chinese uh, real estate developer goes, another one goes. And like I said, it's not just the Chinese government, right? It's America too. Remember when Lehman Brothers went, it was a culmination of multiple companies imploding and not being able to pay their debt, all right? It's not just China. It's larger than that. It's worldwide. That's why I say, please guys, every time you hit the thumbs up button or the subscribe, or some of you have been re unsubscribed, just resubscribe, but share it out there. People need to understand this is a systemic default that is happening from nation to nation right now. It is gonna be affecting all currencies, which means this inflation will get worse. It will get worse until we have a deflationary collapse. And then what I fear, following the dollar whippet theory that I put out in June, we will see a mass amount of money printing by central banks and governments worldwide, and that will lead to a hyperinflation. All right, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for sharing. The Economic Ninja is out.